Okay, hey, now we're going to do the same thing we've been doing with the degrees, except now they're in radians, radians, right, radians. And we need to find the alpha angle. Here's what's really going to be nice about the alpha angle on every single one of these. There's all special numbers, like 3, 4, and 6, with the exception of like the 3 pi over 2, or the pi. But get a look at this. If they're uh, in a 3, 4, or 6 as the denominator, guess what the alpha angle is going to be? Pi over that number. That number. So look at the first one. It says negative pi over 4. Guess what my alpha angle is? Pi over 4. It's just pi over 4. So go to your back to that chart. It's cosine. Notice this time it's in radians, pi over 4. Cosine is what? Square root of 2 over 2. two. Only it was negative, what, right? Pi over 4, right? Mm -hmm. So yes. what quadrant is negative pi over 4 in? Well, instead of going up pi over 4, you actually, what, go down, what? Pi over 4. So, uh, I forgot what we'll find out. Cosine? Yes, yeah. cosine, right? What is cosine in quadrant 4? Positive. Positive. So therefore, the answer is what? Positive what? Square root of 2 over 2. two. Okay? And let's see if we're right. Yay! Okay, look at this. You got 3 pi over 4. Guess what the reference angle is going to be? No, just pi over. Ignore the 3. It's just what? Pi over 4. Four. So I'm going to go back to my worksheet. This one's sine. Sine at pi over 4 is what? Square root of 2 over 2. Only, I forgot what angle we're looking for. 3 pi over 4, right? Where is 3 pi over 4? What quadrant? 2. It is in quadrant 2. And what is sine in quadrant 2? Positive. Positive. So it's positive what? Square root of 2 over 2. Okay. And now we have what? Tangent 3 pi over 4. Well, guess what? Guess what the alpha angle is? Pi over 4. Pi over 4. So go back to the tangent. What's tangent at pi over 4? 1. Only 3 pi over 4 we know is in quadrant 2. What is tangent in quadrant 2? So the answer will not be positive 1, but negative 1. Negative 1. Negative 1. Yay, we're getting them right. We're doing good. Look over here at cosine 2 pi over 3. Just ignore the 2. What's the alpha angle? Pi over 3. So go to your chart. Cosine at pi over 3 is what? One half. One half. Now, my question was we're in what? We're in what quadrant? It was 2 pi over 3, right? So 2 pi over 3 is which trig? Which quadrant 2? So what's cosine in quadrant 2? Negative. So your answer is negative what? One, one half. Half. The answer is negative 1 half. Woohoo! We're back perfect here. All right? What's the alpha angle for sine 7 pi over 6? Pi over 6. Pi over 6. We're doing sine. So sine at pi over 6 is what? 1 half. half. But 7 pi over 6. Now 7 is bigger than 6. So I know it's in quadrant 3 or 4. Is it in quadrant 3 or 4? 7 pi over 6. 4. 3. 3. three. And what is sine in quadrant 3? Negative. negative. So our answer is negative what? Negative one half. half. Whoops, did I get the right thing there? Sine step over six should be negative one half. Now this one's a little different. Three pi over two, which technically the, the alpha angle is still pi over two. But let's go look at our chart. Look what I did. Look, we have three pi over two on the chart. And it says what? Tangent, right? Yeah. What is tangent at 3 pi over 2?